Hey guys, this is Julie. Um, just a little late night. It's 12.42 a.m. here currently on a Saturday. And, um, just kind of chilling out. Got my snug young. And just kind of hanging out here. And wanted to give you guys kind of a brief update of what's going on in my life. Um... Kind of interesting. Um, I finally have made the official announcement that I'm going to be moving to Exeter, um, which I think is pretty, you know, pretty awesome. And um, also kind of cool because um, my family is talking about maybe moving themselves, but it's kind of up in the air right now, so don't really know you know, much other than the fact that they're thinking about it. Um, but the cool thing is, um, I've had some really interesting things happen lately and wanted to let you guys know. So, um, as you guys know, Valentine's Day is coming up and I've already got a present from Keith. I actually had two different things from Keith. Uh, this is the first first thing I got from him. It's a necklace. It's so pretty. I just, I just love it. I've been wearing it like every day since I got it. And then the other thing I got, he sent me this little coin purse with like some British landmarks on it, like Big Ben and the giant Ferris wheel that they have over there and different things. And Inside the coin purse is some British coins. Uh, it's really cool because there's a couple pence kind of type coins and there's a pound coin. And so it's really, really cool. And so it makes me kind of feel like, you know, exciting. Um, and I uh, can't tell you what I got for Keith, but, um, I went to the post office today and mailed his present off, so, can't tell you what it is, because he watches this vlog, so, um, so, gotta be a secret, but, um, let's just say I think he'll really like it, and I'm very excited, decided to, uh, get that message when he goes like, ah, you know, uh, let's see, oh, the other cool thing, <laughs> kind of funny, ever since I, uh, made the announcement, um, this was just, was yesterday or the day before, I can't remember for sure when, but, um, so I made the announcement, and I made my Facebook, and you have to realize, I hardly get on Facebook, I mean, it, to me, it's not... I mean, it's something I go on every once in a while and just kind of catch up with everybody else, catch up with everybody else's posts. You know, I'll like certain posts or I'll reply to a few things, but nothing really that's like, um, you know, I don't usually update my status all that much. But ever since I have, you know, I updated and made the announcement about moving to England in the future, everybody's been, you know, leaving comments, and I even had a friend of mine, uh, one of my old high school friends, call me tonight, and uh, we got to talk about it, and, you know, and everything, and we're going to make plans, hopefully sometime this next week, to get together and, you know, Maybe just have coffee or whatever. Or in my case, you know, probably something more along the lines of hot chocolate or glass pop or something. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have some fun. And uh, we also had a kind of interesting experience today. Um, when I, because um, I went out and had lunch with another friend of mine today. One of the gal said, um, it, you know, there was a group of us for a while that 
We used to go roller skating um, up here at Skate North a lot. On Thursday nights, I had what they call adult night. Um, basically, no kids, and you know, did a lot of fun. Did a lot of fun stuff. Did a lot of activities, but it was just mainly skating. And you could, you know, kind of try. You know, we had people from all different skill levels. For me, who you know, basically just skate around and you know try certain things to people who you know actually did like the fancy tricks and spins and things like that um I can miss that every once in a while I miss uh going skating because it was a lot of fun um but anyway so this one gal you know um she was kind of a friend of a friend, and then, uh, you know, we kind of started talking and stuff, and it's like, she came to my college graduation, and so we just decided that, um, well, she, what happened was that she came into work the other day, and, uh, you know, we were trying to catch up catch up and I was like I have so much to tell you I can't you know there's no way we can get through it all in one you know in like five minutes or whatever so um we set up and we met at Perkins this at Perkins today for lunch and uh so you know we got to talk and everything that was very exciting mm. interesting little development though um because I found out uh three weeks before that um the guy who I'd dated um well the end of my high school years and through his through the end of through his senior year um my first boyfriend, I guess you'd call it. Although I don't know how much of a boyfriend he was, you know. I mean, uh, there were issues, you know. There were issues, there were difficulties. His mother didn't like me for one thing. Anyway, not going to get into all of that now. But basically, so he, uh, well, what basically happened is he went away to college and when he um and I remember him I remember if he broke up with me through a letter or a phone call I just know it wasn't in person he just basically said that he wanted to he wanted to do more stuff and he wanted to be free to be able to like date other people and all that and so I was just kind of like okay you know whatever and you know went on from there well anyway he had shown up at Best Buy a few weeks ago and basically talked my ear off you know and uh, so well when Dorothy and I went and sat down at Perkins, he was our waiter. So it was kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> because I, it's just weird because, you know, it's like I'm trying to talk to my friend about stuff about stuff going on you know and I was telling her about telling her about Keith and everything and then it's like all of a sudden you know and then it's like you know and this it, guy it, it kept coming you know and he was being a good waiter although yeah, and I've never been a waiter never been a waiter so I mean, I don't know if this is something that waiters and waitresses are trained on or what, but it kind of drives me crazy when, when you know, you're sitting there, 
you know, you're, ha you're having a meal and you're talking. You're the, you know, the main point of your being there is talking to the person that you're with. And it keeps coming by and keeps saying, and keeps saying, is everything okay? Is everything, you know, and it's like, you know, I either get the feeling like they want us to get done and get up and leave so that the table can be reused for somebody else or I don't know I mean some you know I don't know I don't really know and you know I don't think it's usually the waiter or waitress's fault but it it's just one of those things that's always bugged me a little bit because it's just you know because we're talking I mean we're in the middle of having a conversation but I couldn't help feeling like um, like Jeff, that was the guy, he, um, I couldn't have a feeling like he was trying to listen in on the conversation, which is very awkward when it's like, I mean, I haven't seen this guy in years, you know, and he's very much the kind of person he'll, he'll go away for a while and you won't see him for like a long time and then all of a sudden he'll just pop back up and just be like you know hi you know show up at your house and be like you know and expect to be let in and it's like the nice thing is that you know I hate to say that that's a nice thing but I mean it's kind of nice that you know where we live now that you know he doesn't know where we live, you know, he doesn't know where we live now, and so he hasn't, apparently hasn't been able to find out where we live, so, you know, and that sounds bad, I know, it's just, I don't know, while going into the whole long blah, blah thing, you know, which I really don't want to do, but, Anyway, so it was just it was just kind of one of those things. It was just like, you know, it was kind of like, oh, you're our waiter. Oh, good, <laughs> you know. And I'm just like, uh, I know this sounds bad. It sounds like I'm just being kind of selfish. I don't know. But you know, like I said, like I said, he's, you know kind of one of the one of those people you know all the guys who you know it's just I'm gonna disappear for years and you're not gonna know what's happened to me and you're not gonna you know and then I'm all of a sudden gonna show up again and just be like act like nothing happened like it didn't disappear and it's like uh if I tried doing that you know how would I have people, you know, texting me, calling me, doing, you know, whatever they could to try and track me down? And, yeah. Kind of selfish. But anyway, I digress. So, um, but it was just kind of awkward. It was just kind of one of those weird you know it's just like I said every time he came over I was just like have to stop talking you know have to start talking about what we're talking about because well and the other thing is is that it's kind of some of the stuff we were talking about was pretty personal because I mean we're talking about you know Dorothy who's my friend she um you know she has you know she um know some people who are in, you know, who have kind of some interesting situations going on, and so we were talking about that and stuff, so every time I came over, I was just, I was just like, okay, can you just, we are fine, you know, we don't want another drink, we don't want another, you know, we're good, thank you, you know, anyway, so, I've never said that though. I've never got really actually said that to a you know somebody. But you know, I 
attempted to <laughs> this time. Um, but anyway, so now I'm rambling on again. I do apologize about that. Um, so anyway, but it was nice to get to see Dorothy again. It was nice to get to talk to her and see what was going on in her life. Um, ooh, uh, probably the other thing that I should mention, I don't know if this has anything to do with, um, with Slender, but, um, I have been having, uh, this weird recurring dream the last few nights. And haven't had it like every single night, but the nights I have had it, it's been just really kind of odd. Um, because it's not usually when I have a recurring dream, it's usually pretty much the same dream. It's like usually the same situation plays out, and it's usually I'm very familiar with where we are, you know, it's usually, you know, like, I'll have dreams that I'm at a, a water park and that I'm on a really scary log ride or whatever, you know, with water splashing and all that, or that I'm, or that I'm in this huge mall area down in the city and that I'm, some sort of elusive thing but it's like it's like I have to get away from somebody but I never get to see who the person or thing is I have to get away from this dream um basically it's been it's been a dream where like it, the two dreams have been different but the thing they have in common is that, like, I, like, I'm sleeping. It's like I'll be deep in my deep in my dream. I'll be deep in the middle of whatever it is, and then all of a sudden, on the back of my head, and it's the same spot both times. Is that I'll feel what feels like something like a bug or something that is angry at me sounds almost like a bee you know sounds almost like you know when when a bee gets stuck in your hair or something and it's just like zzz, you know and it's starting to get mad like it's gonna sting you well that's what it that's what it feels like it feels like something's stinging me or biting me in the back of the head and it's the same spot both times. And, I mean, it's bad enough to where it wakes me up. I woke up this morning at like 6.34. Scared to death because, I mean, it felt real. It felt like if I did not sit up at that moment that something was going to going to clean into my head, you know, and so I'm just, you know, I mean, I, you know, and when you come full awake out of a dream, when you're just like, you know, and it's just interesting because it's like all of a sudden I got to wake up and boom, you know, and, I mean, it was scary. I mean, I had turned on my light, and I, I flung my pillow, and the, the pillow I use, I have neck problems sometimes, so I have this pillow that has, like, a special little bump in the middle where you're supposed to rest your neck on, and it's supposed to help with the, it's supposed to help cushion you, you know? So you're not lying flat, and uh, so I had that pillow, and I mean, that was the thing that my head was on, and so I 
flung the pillow onto the floor and sat, got up out of bed and basically started feeling underneath my pillow, started, you know, digging underneath my covers just to see if there was anything. And the weird thing is both times, I mean, I haven't found anything. I haven't found any bugs, I haven't found any spiders or any sort of insect or anything. So, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is that's causing it to be like that. That's, it's just weird. But, um, so, that's my, that's my deal. That's what I'm, you know, I'm dealing with now, and I mean, it was to the point where I was scared to go back to bed because I didn't want to. I mean, usually when I wake up in the middle of the night, I can usually fall right back asleep, but I was just scared to. I was just like, I just, I mean, I have no idea. I still have no idea. I don't have any idea if there's anything. And here's the thing I've seen spiders in my bathroom and I don't know I don't know if they've managed to crawl their way out here under my bed and that freaks me out because I hate spiders anyway and just the thinking about them possibly being in my bed and crawling around on me you know it's just creepy 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 And then, of course, you think, well, there's Slenderman there, you know, Slenderman's been compared to a big giant spider before, especially with the ones that say he has the tentacles and stuff like that. And it's just like, ooh, that's not a good thought to have. <sighs> so, I, I just don't know. Anyway, just so thoroughly in here tonight, so maybe hopefully that'll help a little bit. Um, and I took off the sheets off my bed, washed, washed everything, and so I gotta remake my bed before I go to bed tonight. But um, yeah, so hopefully that will take care of things. I even washed the pillowcase that my pillow usually is, usually is on, you know, and, uh, so hopefully that'll take care of it, I'm just a little bit nervous to actually go to sleep, I don't want anything else, you know, I don't want to have that dream again, I don't want to be woken up by the feeling that something's sticking me or biting me or whatever, because, I mean, it felt real. I mean, it was complete with angry, you know, whatever it was, it was mad, you know. And I mean, I can understand that too, because if you're, you know, if you're a fighter or whatever, and, you know, all of a sudden you've got this big thing landing on you, yeah, I mean, sure you're gonna want it get it off, but it's like, you shouldn't be crawling around on my bed, on my pillow, where, you know, I'm supposed to be sleeping, but anyway, now watch, I probably won't be able to go to sleep, because I'll be too scared, <sighs> so, anyway, so, that's my question of the day, what kind of bad dreams do you guys have that scare you? That scare you half to death? That make you not want to go, go back to sleep? And what do you usually do when that happens? You know, do you stay up for a little while? Do you try to breathe or try to do something to take your mind off of it? Do you try to confront whatever it is that you're, you know, doing? And I don't know if it has anything to do with Slenderman. I mean, the only thing I can 
think of the only connection I can think of that it might have is like I said the spider connection you know the fact that it's kind of the fact that it you know a slender bin's coming compared to a spider because he has the tentacles um and the other possibility you know that maybe there's a possibility that, you know, I mean, I've seen certain blogs and stuff, and the blogs where, you know, you've seen women leaning over, you know, people while they sleep, which is also very, very creepy, because it's like, oh, no. Okay, you know, and um, so I don't know. Well, and that's the other weird thing. It's like a lot of, you know, it's like a lot of vlogs. It's like most vlogs seem to have the same descriptions of. I don't know what that was. That was my computer. Okay. I was like, that was a weird noise. Anyway, I mean, usually most vlogs have kind of more of a, um, I don't know, kind of a weird, you know, kind of the same kind of description. Of, you know, kind of the same things of in the same, you know, saying something, except of course for Marble Hornet, which, you know, it's kind of weird because their, I guess you call it the antagonist, you know, is, I mean, they don't call him Slenderman, they call him the Operator. And the other interesting thing is that that thing kind of has some different causes some different reactions like he can manipulate time he can you know he can or he causes um, not only loss of memory but he also causes um, whenever you get too close to them, apparently they start coughing, and, you know, it even got to the point where they cough up blood and stuff. So, it's, it's just interesting. It's interesting to compare and contrast the Marble Hornets one to, you know, some of the others. You know, like Every Man Hybrid, Track 12, um... Even some of the newer ones that are newer ones that are out there. Like I watched this one called M Hunter, and uh, apparently this guy was have going to therapy because his girlfriend died or something, and in not the first but the second video. There was a picture at the end of Slipman standing in the doorway of his room. And, you know, you're just kind of like, kind of like, ooh, that's not good. And so you just kind of like, okay, yeah, that that's not good. Um, but, you know, it's like seems like they usually have the same um, reactions, you know, he usually has the same physical characteristics, usually it has this, you know, causes the same reactions in other people. Um, except, of course, like I said, for Marble Hornets, where it's a little bit different. Um, so... I don't know, it's, it's just interesting, it's just interesting, I guess you could say I'm kind of back in the research part of that, 
um, take precautions, of course. I've got a couple of my charms back up and everything, and so I've got a necklace that I, my friend of mine gave me. And, um, when she heard about my my research, she gave me this, and she was, she couldn't tell me a whole heck of a lot about the stone on the bottom, but she said that it would protect against, you know, I was supposed to be able to protect against, like, evil spirits and all that, so I keep it close, you know. Don't really wear it that often, but then again, I still haven't had, I mean, as far as I know, I still haven't had many encounters, you know, so not since the last one, which I'm hoping means that either he's gone on to pester other people or he, or I don't know. Either way, you know, hopefully that means he's given up on, you know. Although that's the other interesting thing is, and I know I probably mentioned this before, but it's just kind of curious. You're curious about, um, like, the fact that, you know, so many people from all over the country, all over the world even, are having issues with, you know, with Slenderman. And it just makes me wonder, it makes me go, well, what, you know, is this all, this, is there just one? You know, or are there several of them? Kind of like in, you know, kind of like the movie Signs almost, you know, for a while there. You know, you're kind of like, well, is it just this one alien or is it, you know, because you kind of thought maybe it was just one alien and decided to terrorize this family. But then, you know, then as they actually started watching the news and started seeing, you know, it's like there was all of them from all, of them from all over the, from all over the world and stuff. So, and that may, you know, and that just brings up an interesting question, you know, is there more than one Slenderman? Which would kind of make sense if he actually turned out to be like an alien. Because you would think, okay, so, you know, because you would think that there would be more than one of them, you know, that the mothership or whatever would, you know, send more than one of them down to the earth to do whatever, whatever it is. And, uh, whatever it is they were sent here to do. Now, it ends up being like a, you know, I don't know. I mean, I've heard so many different theories from the fact that he's a, I forget what you call it, but it's like basically you think about it. Be, and because you believe in it, or because you think about it, he exists. So, it's just basically like, he's, you know, he's this evil, you know. And you don't know, you don't know if he's evil, or if he's just, you know, wanting to communicate and just can't, you know. So, I don't know. There's just lots of questions. And the more videos I watch, the more questions I end up having. You know, so, 
I don't know, but I'm kind of half scared to start digging into this again because it seems like that draws his attention. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I'm just curious. And I also figure if I can maybe find out some things, something that might help, you know, maybe I can post in some of these other vlogs and be like, hey, try this. Or at least be like, hey, contact me and I will, you know, and I'll be here for you. I'll, you know, I'll listen to, you know, I'm here, you know, you're not alone. Because I know that's, you know, I know it helps me to realize that I'm not alone. That, you know, other people are around and that other people do care, you know. So anyway, it's now 119. And I need to do some more posting in the Heroes Forum. I've only managed to do one post so far tonight. Or last night, rather. And I've got a later shift tonight. I work 3 to 9.15. So, closing shift. And, um, so I will keep you guys updated and I hope you guys have a great weekend those of you that don't have to work enjoy it and uh, those of you that do those of you who are my fellow retail workers keep strong and we'll get through this okay guys it's good to talk to you and I'll see you later